Good evening and welcome to the abdominoplasty showcase. Uh, during this week we're going to talk about all the different types of abdominoplasty, but it's good to talk about a newer technique called the T-U-L-U-A abdominoplasty and what exactly it is. Um, it first got popularity um, when it was published in the Aesthetic uh, Plastic Surgical Journal in 2014 as a novel approach for a modification of the traditional abdominoplasty. It got my attention recently from a paper written by a number of the authors <clears throat> where the authors were from all different countries uh, around the world and they got 845 cases of theirs and went through the risk profile uh, and how to perform the procedure compared to a traditional abdominoplasty. So let's start, what does it stand for? T-U-L-U-A. The T is for transverse plication. A traditional abdominoplasty would do vertical plication. In this particular technique, the uh, plication is transverse, and I'll show you pictures of that. <clears throat> There's no undermining of the upper abdominal apron. Now, a traditional abdominoplasty, we lift up the abdominal apron and we dissect all the way up to the rib cage. In this technique, there's no undermining of this, of this area, much similar to the core set of abdominoplasties that I perform. Liposuction. Traditional abdominoplasty, we don't liposuck this upper abdominal region because we're worried about the blood supply to the abdominal flaps. In this technique, it's, there's aggressive liposuction in the upper abdomen, and because we're not undermining this area, the blood supply is way more robust. Yet again, from the corset work that I do, I'm very happy with this technique. Umbilicoplasty. Now, in a traditional abdominal plasty, we reuse the, your, abdomen, your belly button. In this one, we have to create a new belly button, and I'll go through that as well. And the A stands for abdominal scar because the, the scar is nice and low. So let's just go through the differences between a traditional abdominal plasty and uh, this abdominal plasty. Firstly, Traditional is a vertical plication of the rectus. So the rectus muscle is a six pack muscle and we you traditionally plicate it vertically straight down. Now, we use this technique, we do a transverse plication. And what that does is, instead of bringing the muscles together, it shortens the muscle. So if you've got a big, if you've got muscle separation, you've got a big arc like this, by plicating this way, you shorten the muscle, which helps uh, with both the function of it, the aesthetics of it, and also brings the external oblique muscle in. Now you can't use this technique if the muscle separation is greater than five centimeters. You need to do the traditional technique. Uh, super umbilical tunneling, as I said, we don't tunnel the upper abdomen. You do not do any dissection in that area. You just limit it to the front. Liposuction, traditional abdominal plastic, we liposuck all the way around. But in this one, we do all the way around, but particularly in this area, because a lot of tummy tuck patients afterwards worry about fullness in that area. Traditional um, uh, belly, uh, uh, abdominal plasty, we, put, we use the old um, uh, umbilicus and we exteriorize it. In this one, we amputate the belly button, close it, and we make a new belly button through a, a, a flap of tissue and some skin grafting. The benefit of that is that we can have the belly button sitting a little bit higher and in a more aesthetic position. There's nothing worse than a belly a abdominal plasty where the belly button is too close to the scar. Um, and as we discussed, the scar is going to be low, so it's very similar in that way. The benefits of this technique are that we've got no undermining of the upper abdominal flap, which has a theoretical risk of less seroma formation and less chance of skin necrosis to the flap areas. Extensive liposuction, as we've discussed, so we can be more aggressive in the upper abdominal region. And the belly button, we can position it better so we can get the belly button to sit a little bit higher so to make the torso look longer and it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So this is from the paper and this is not my patient. So as you can see here is aggressive liposuction in this area and this is the bit that we're going to remove much similar to a traditional abdominoplasty. Now, in this photo, you see how much liposuction has been done to the upper abdomen to make it nice and thin. With the amputation of the tissue, there's the belly button that gets removed at the same time. Now, with transverse plication, for all the surgeons out there, as you all know, we plicate this way, we plicate transversely. And as I said, by going this way, the pull is down that way, so it can bring the external oblique uh, muscle in and help with the waistline and it shortens the rectus abdominis muscle. 
Now we can't do this if it's greater than five centimetres and you're using the same sutures as we would for normal plication. So this is a, a patient of mine, as I said, we usually tunnel all the way up to the rib cage. This patient had a five centimetre divarication. You cannot use this technique when you've got greater than five centimetre uh, 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 divarication. And we traditionally placate this way all the way down, tightening the rectus sheet, but also bring the muscle together. In this technique, we do a transverse placation here, and that shortens the rectus abdominis muscle. Um, now, picking the belly button, we're picking the belly button is a formula that's used, that's been decided on the aesthetics and how we do it. Um, that distance there from the upper edge of the, in the, in the mons to the scar, let's call that X. Then we measure 1.6 times X and that's where you put the belly button. We create a little flap of tissue and then put a skin graft as well there after we placate down. The benefit of this technique, as I said, once we've closed it, we can do a little bit more abdominal etching to try to give some more contour to the uh, abdominal tissue. So hopefully that's been helpful going through this new technique, uh, which I've used on some of my patients. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out. Thank you.